So hi class, hi everyone. So I hope everyone is okay. I hope everyone is doing well. So anyway, last meeting we already discussed the exercise, physical activity, and it's time. So now we're going to talk about optimizing energy supply. So what is the use of energy supply in our body? So our objectives for today's lesson is you're going to define energy system and explain its basic function. So what are the types of energy systems that we have in our body who is in charge in supplying energy? And what are their basic functions? And then differentiate the types of eating in relation to one's fitness. So how does these types of eating affect our fitness or our health? And then you're going to assess your own diet as we go along our lesson. So after this lesson, uh, I will be giving you activities so you, um, you are going to assess your diet. So let's start. So we have types of energy system, the phosphagen, anaerobic, and aerobic. So later on, I will discuss that um, one by one. So performing physical activities require energy production. Of course, we cannot do any single physical activities without energy. So all activities that we do or that we make requires energy. So this body system supply ATP to different parts of the body such as the muscles so that they can perform movement. So you uh, types of uh, energy systems that we have in our body are supplying energy to our body so that we can perform movements, especially physical activity. So when we say energy, it is stored in the body in various forms such as carbo, fats, and protein. So yung mga saan ba natin nakukuha ito? Of course, ha, kung ano yung hinakain natin. So dyan ang gagaling yung energy kasi sabi dyan all body movements are fueled by energy so sabi ko ani we cannot do any physical activity without energy so napaka important ni energy so si ATP as a molecule that serves is a usable form of energy who is in charge of uh, distributing or supplying energy to our body for us to make movements so what are the functions of energy system and what are the uh, types of energy system we have phosphagen anaerobic and aerobic system so what are their functions in our body let us see phosphagen is the fastest way of acquiring energy to muscle so it can supply energy for less than a Minute. So, mga short burst of intense activity ang kaya supply ni phosphagen. So, example na activity is 20 seconds running. So, halimbawa, um, sinugo ka mo ni mama ni dumagbakal ni asin sa tindahan. So, nagdalagin ka mo ni mga 20 seconds. So, nasa range siya ka less than a minute activity. So, ang active dyan na system is si phosphagen. So, siya ang in charge or siya ang nagsupply sa imuning energy to do a particular physical activity or para makadalagang ka duman sa tindahan ding 20 seconds na abot mo na uh, na ang nagsupply ng energy kain sa imo si phosphagen. Okay? So again, ang kaya niyang isupply is less than a minute activity. And okay, so when we say anaerobic glycolysis naman, pag sinabing glycolysis, it is the breakdown of glucose. So, it is not bad to eat sweet food kasi um, it has important role in our body, especially sa muscle. So, ang sugar na, itong sugar na nakukuata sa pagkakanta, nagta-transform siya into a usable form of energy. So, si anaerobic naman, the second fastest way of acquiring energy, and it can provide for 1 to 3 minutes activities. Unlike like phosphagen na less than a minute lang. Pero si anaerobic, 1 to 3 minutes ang range na kaya niyang supplyan. Halimbawa, uh, pinabayli ko ka muna 2 minutes lang presentation. 
So, nasa range siya kang 1 to 3 minutes. So, ang active na energy system dyan si anaerobic. So, anaerobic means without oxygen. So, data pa kayo po aning masyadong grating doros or oxygen kasi nga nasa 1 to 3 minutes. So, kayang-kaya pa kang hawak na ipahihingalo ni maray. Unlike sa aerobic system, ang kaya niyang isupply is longer than 3 minutes or 3 minutes or above. So, kapag mga activities that last longer than 3 minutes, ang active dyan na system si aerobic. And it requires oxygen kasi nga pang matagalan na. So, what are those examples? Examples are dancing, um, Zumba. Because Zumba... Zumba session takes uh, 10 minutes per session ba? Uh, how about basketball? So, and different forms of sports that is longer than 3 minutes. So, basta mga activities that is longer than 3 minutes, ang, nag ang active na system dyan or ang nagsusupply kang energy ni dyan si aerobic system. So, I hope you understand. So, when we say uh, phosphagen, less than a minute activity ang kanyang supply, si anaerobic glycolysis naman is 1 to 3 minute activities. And kasi aerobic system, longer than 3 minutes activities. Okay po? So, however, those systems do not break alone. Kasi sabi ko na isa yung kong subago. Alimbawa, itong sinugo pa mong mag bakal sa tindahan, nagdalagan ka mo for 20 seconds. So, di ba sabi ko ang active duman si phosphagen kasi sa nasa range siya ni phosphagen. Pero, nakasupport pa din si aerobic sa kasi anaerobic in case na mag-extend itong activity nyo doon. So, nakadepende siya sa longevity or sa duration kang activity ng ginigay ko nyo Pero, may terming nagiging dominant or mas nagiging active depende nga sa activity yung ginigibunin doon. Okay po? And then, food and water intake, you must also understand that the ultimate source of energy is the food that we eat. Of course, saan ba tayo kukuha ng energy? Walang iba kundi sa food na kinakain natin. That's why, dapat maging conscious kita sa kung ano ang kinakakanta. And then, it is important that you monitor what you eat as your food intake affects your performance in any physical activity. Kasi nga, kung ang kinakakan mo mga unhealthy foods, what do you expect? Do you think you can perform um, physical activities that requires much effort or ito talaga mga vigorous activities? Do you think ma-perform mo yan um, if you are eating unhealthy foods or ito mga junk foods. Of course not. So, unlike man sa kapag itong mga nagkakarakan man mga talaga mga into ano talaga, conscious na mga health conscious talaga. So, mga healthy foods ang kinakakan nila. Of course, kayang isupply or kayang mag-owning energy thing enough to make a particular activity. That's why uh, maging conscious kita sa kung ano ang kinakakanta. So, we have types of eating. So, what are these types of eating and how does this affect your performance or your own health? So, we have types of eating. So, what are the types of eating and then how does this affect your performance or your fitness? So, we have few willing for performance, emotional eating, Social eating and habitual eating. So, what are these? Um, pag fueling for performance, it is common for at least. At least, kasi nga ni fuel. So, just like a car, um, it needs fuel or itong gas para magdalagan. So, just like if I, uh, a person's body, kay puhan man ning, uh, ning energy para maka hero siya. So, ito mga lalo na itong mga athlete na ito training, uh, ito na sa training period talaga nila, sa training duration nila. So, may iling mo dyan na kay po, iyan ang means of fuel nila para magibo nila si training nila or magibo nila si competition na kaipuhan nila ang gibuhon. Kaya nga, fueling for performance. 
And then emotional eating happens when you eat depending upon your mood. So any mood that you are experiencing, tapos lumang ka nagkakakan na sa mood na ito, particular mood na ito, dyan malaog si emotional eating. For example, pag broken hearted ka, oh, syempre broken hearted ka, take divert mo na lang yung si attention mo dumad sa broken hearted. Ako nagparahibi ka and everything. Tig, ano mo na lang, tigbawi mo na lang sa pagkakan. So nagiging unhealthy, nagkakaigwaning, unhealthy eating routine, nararaot si eating routine ta. Or halimbawa man sa stress eating, digdi din malaw sa emotional eating. Itong stress ka ng maray, pagal-pagal in everything, sumakakad ka. May kaibang binabalingan ko di pagkakaan. And then naapektuhan ang health ta. Kasi dahil nga ni sa araw ko yan, pag nagkakakad kita dahil depende sa mood ta, naapektuhan si eating routine ta, tsaka si fitness ta, lalo na si health. Pero maray ko, kung ang kinakakanin, yung mga healthy food, that is good. But how about itong mga chips, mga junk foods, o di ba, na naapektuhan ang health ta. And then, social eating happens during occasions. So especially mga birthdays, Christmas, New Year, mga araw kayo yan. So, di ba, napapada ko lang kakanta kapag may mga occasions. Kasi commonly, Kadakul din ang pagkakan. So, nararaot pa din ang eating routine ta. Especially itong mga oily foods, salty foods, mga lechon. Oh. Kaya minsan hinaharay blood ng maray. Kasi nga, napasobra na. So, naapektuhan ang health ta. Nagiging unhealthy na ang routine. How about habitual eating? So, ang habitual eating man po, nangyayari kapag itong nagiging habit na na na. Kapag nagdadalan kita or, yes, nagdadalan kita ng movies or anything, halimbawa nga ganyan, nagyaw kita sa cinema, sa SM or sa Robinson and where, wherever, kapag ganyan, basta nagdadalan kita, habit na na, pero may kitang may tarang pagkakana, pero may na yung kakambal ni pagdalan is pagkakan. So, iyon na yun, nagiging habit na, which is, marikula mo ko, ang pagkakanta is healthy food. Kaya lang, di ba, Commonly, ang pagkakanta is mga chips, mga junk food, which is naaapektuhan ang health ta. Okay, so dyan po naaapektuhan ang health kang tao depende sa types of eating na ginigibo. Okay po? And then, aside from the food intake, water intake is also important. Of course, kasi our body is composed of 70% of water. So, almost two-third siya. So, kita, ginagaanot, nag-iihi kita, nababawasan ang water level sa hawak ta. That's why, kaya kung ta mag-inom ni tubig, ding grabe, para ma-replace si nawarang liquid sa hawak ta. Kaya, bagap terminating sa suggest, dawa ka ito pa man, kang aki pa ako, pero may ko na nadadangog na, Drink at least 8 to 10 glasses a day. Kasi yun talaga yan ang advisable na mayo ng ibang makakatumba sa tubig, kundi tubig lang talaga, mayo ng iba. And uh, magayon sa tubig, nagiging ano siya, water therapy, lalo na itong may mga diseases na light lang na nadadarapak ng tubig. Itong mga nagda-diet, more on water lang ka mo ma-achieve din yan. Tapos physical activity and exercise, ma-achieve din doon. Basta dahil pero paglingon ng water kasi water is really important in our body. Kasi iyo ang pinaka-importante yung kaipuhan ka. Remember, to be physically fit, you must be strategic with what you eat and when to take them. So, sabi nga ni Kayan, you are what you eat. So, kung anong kinakakan mo, iyo ka pa yan. So, isip po na lang po nito itong mga malnourished na tao. So, bakit sila malnourished? Ano ba yung mga kinakain nila? May nutritious ba or hindi? So, dyan yung, dyan yung makikita yung difference. Ah, kaya mo mga pala. Dyan yung makikita yung analysis nyo. Na, ah, kaya mo na malnourished na araw kayo yung pagkakamper ng araw kayo. Mga salty food niya. Mga arog lang kani. How about itong mga overweight people to the point na nagiging obese? Bakit nagiging ganun? 
Kasi nga maraming pagkain ngayon, mami. Pero nila ngayon may dara si mama, pero nila ngayon nagluluto ni kung ano, pero nila may binabakal, pero nila ngayon nagpapadeliver online. Oh, di naaapektuhan si health ng sarong tao. So, dapat maging conscious kita sa kung ano ang kinakatanta. Kasi it has affects in our, oh, it affects our health, especially our fitness. Maray ko itong mga normal, ano lang, nasa normal level lang kasi nababalance paninda si pagkakaninda. Dawa ngayon pa mayroon minsan nagsusoda, soft drinks, nagchichips, okay lang. Nababalance pa din. Pero itong mga nagiging malnourished kasi kulang na kulang na si hinahagad kang hawa. And same with the overweight, sobrahan naman lugod si uh, hinahagad kang hawa to the point na maliing nutrients ang tinatapos sa hawak. That, hawak, that's why nagka-come up sa araw katong classification of body. So, dapat maging conscious kita. Lalo nung yan mga, mga hobbit pa ka mo. Hindi, panindu yan mamati yun. How much more kapag nag-older na ka mo? So, isip po nilindu, ay, mga gulay na doko per ni. Paminsan-minsan, try to eat veggies. Maseram. Mas healthy pa. Baho na itong puro instant goods, panilibre din sa Jollibee, sa McDoin, etc., etc. Which is wrong. Nakaka-apekto sa health pa. So, when yan, di, panilibre yan may isip. But when the time comes, uh, asi, matatanda ni Doc, kung maalala ni Doc na, ay, hindi mo nang gada, no? It affects, kasi lalo na yung mga salty foods. Na-apektuhan lalo na, yan, madali ang kinaka-ano dyan, duty ay. Kasi more on chips ka mo, soda, soda. Pero, ano, as, as much as possible, iwasan, magparakakan mo junk foods. More on duman lang kita sa healthy food, tsaka si pag-inom ni dakol na tubig everyday. As much as possible, at least, 8 to 10 glasses a day nga nit sa bit. Okay po? So, that's all. I hope you understand. So, we discuss the type of energy system, which is the phosphagen, anaerobic, and aerobic system. And so types of eating naman, we have fuel in poor performance, um, emotional, social, and habitual eating, and their function. So I hope you understand, class. So the activity, just visit the Google Classroom. And then, I'll be posting this presentation followed by the activity. So, if you have queries and questions, you can message me po anytime. So, that's all for today. I hope you learned something. Thank you so much, class. Goodbye. Have a good day po.